actually losing voltage. I actually came back and it was showing 2.3 volts. <laughs> Welcome back. The saga continues with this rechargeable battery. Uh, so where we left off, we were able to overcharge this battery and we were able to get it back to uh, some, some, give it some current and, and it was actually um, showing some voltage. Um, we got it up to uh, at least double figures. Um, and currently is sitting around about 4.99 as you can see however this battery isn't I think there's a there's a problem with it um, compared to the 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 other battery that I've got which actually holds this voltage so let's just put that against the multimeter you'll be able to see 16.33 and so on so you know it's very much holding its voltage uh, apart from when I don't actually connect it correctly there you go holding its voltage however I've got a great battery here you can see it's 7.96 it's gonna to go to 9.5 then it's gonna go down to 9.4 9.3 etc. It's effectively losing charge So I'm actually losing voltage. I actually came back and it was showing 2.3 volts uh, Which is a disappointment over over three three or four days So it looks like it's not holding its charge one one of the things is it's colder in my actual garage So it's about uh, six degrees in here at the moment, so it is a little bit cool. However, um, although the operating temperature for this battery is, I think it is around about two degrees. Uh, we've got something in here. Oh, it doesn't say on the battery. I did see it somewhere. Four degrees. There you go. The operating uh, temperature of the charger is four degrees, but that shouldn't necessarily mean that this doesn't actually uh, work. So what we're going to do is just going to open it up and actually have a look at what's going on. Uh, are we able to see anything that's obvious in regards to uh, the heating element? Again, I'm using a T10 um, bit. I'm just going to quickly open this up. Give it a bit of a pull. Okay, so what it actually means is if I if I'm measuring the voltage across um, some of these cells, so I've got this one here, which I'm just going to expose a little bit of the paper to ensure that I'm actually terminating to the actual terminal. So here I can actually see it's a dead cell. So what it will actually mean is I'm going to have to replace this cell X. so not great this is a dead cell I'm gonna have to desolder it and uh, resolder it back on so not great but um, generally I was happy I could probably still use the cell um, because I am actually able to get things through but I'm probably not going to get the same kind of performances that I did before. I've got to come up with a way of actually testing, you know, what, what's the lifetime of the battery. Just maybe a simple run of the drill to actually see. But um, it does actually show that this cell that I originally had is absolutely okay. Uh, I think I should get some run in there. I should probably check the, the cells in there. However, in, um, in, in, in this um, rechargeable battery, I've got, I've got some actual dead cells and um, they need replacing or 
maybe I need to remove them and, and see if it's actually any better because they, they're actually holding no voltage whatsoever or can I do anything in regards to um, bringing these cells back to, to life so I'm going to see what I can do um, if there is anything or if they are completely gone um, but um, not looking so great at the moment all right um, as before please feel free to subscribe um, like uh, and leave a comment in the uh, comment section below um, and uh, I'll see you all soon